Hey champions, this is Arian Tyson here in St. Louis, and I'm just coming back at you to shoot a video. Um, it's actually been a, a great start to the morning. Um, as you can see, the sun is uh, sun is shining, and you know, it, once again, it's just going to be a great day today. So let, let's dive in. Um, I, I want to challenge you today, and uh, I will keep it as brief as possible. Um, and I want to let you know that um, you know, successful people. Um, Successful people start before they before they get ready. And let me preface my comments. When an opportunity presents itself that could um, benefit you and benefit your family, and actually, you know, put put money in your pocket, maybe even change your life. What I've noticed is that too many people come with the excuse of they're not ready. They're not ready. And I understand that, you know, things come up. But at the same token, how long is it going to take you to get ready? Because successful people start before they're ready. And what, what do I mean by that? What do I mean by that is this. What I mean by that is this. <laughs> is that. Successful people. Understands the importance of not being an information hoarder. An information hoarder is someone who just constantly collects information. But yet does nothing with it. And maybe it has to do with the fact that we've always been taught that knowledge is power. Well, it's not entirely true. I wouldn't say it's not true. I just say it's incomplete. Knowledge is only power, only becomes power when it is applied. It doesn't make sense to just constantly uh, acquire information and do nothing with it. It makes no sense. And so I know a lot of information hoarders. And you probably know a lot of information hoarders. And, you know, if you be honest with yourself, you may be an information hoarder or you just have information hoarder tendencies. So we'll just phrase it like that. But. The truth of the matter is you have to put application to the knowledge that you're applying. Otherwise, it's for nothing. And so normally when you really invest in yourself, you take pride in it. It's just like the analogy of you buying a car and you renting a car. People who rent cars really don't tend to take care of them as much as people who buy cars. What do I mean by that is when you rent a car, the only thing that you have to do, you can ride it any way you want to as long as you bring it back with the amount of gas that it left with and that there are no uh, physical damages on it and give it back but when it's something that you acquired most people you know most people handle it with care they put their, their energy and resources in it I remember when I, I bought my car back in 2004 and there was not a week that went by that you didn't see me outside washing my car. I have always pretty much kept my car clean. Now, being that it's, you know, 13 degrees outside right now, I'm not going to be outside washing no car. So let's be clear. But the inside of my car is always clean because I said, regardless to the car now, because of the temperature and the time of year, I don't really care less how the car looks now. But when someone gets in my car, 
I don't want them to have to fiddle around trash and it's smelling like cigarette smoke, you know, because people that smoke cigarettes on, they're not allowed to smoke in my car. So they already know that, you know, otherwise they're going to have to find another means of transportation. So if you can't respect mine, then you don't need to be in it. I mean, that's just common sense. But with the information that you acquire, you have to be willing to put it to good use. What is the sense of having it if you're not, if it's not going, it's not even benefiting you with it being in your head. It don't start benefiting you until you share it and until, and until you do something with it. So people spend too much time getting ready for stuff. And they spend so much time wanting everything to be in perfect alignment and they never pull the trigger. You know, they're, they're stuck with this ready, aim, fire mentality. When, when it comes to your dreams, when it comes to business, you have to have a ready, fire, aim mentality. Because as... Wayne Gretzky once said, and I'm a hockey fan, and I'm unapologetic when I say that. You know, I'm um, I'm a huge uh, St. Louis Blues fan, um, and so I love hockey. Grew up, you know, I grew up, uh, had a dream of being a hockey player. The problem was uh, I never learned how to ice skate, so um, that didn't work out too well. But I will, I do support my hometown, St. Louis Blues, and, you know, but, and then not to mention, Wayne Gretzky played for the Blues for a, a, a little minute, so, um, but the reality is that Wayne Gretzky once said, you only miss, you only make 100% of the shots you don't take. You gotta take some shots. And taking shots, um, it's not going to always be the right time or everything is not going to be perfect. There is no such thing as perfect timing. The only quote unquote perfect timing is right now. It's right now. It's the, pre it's the present moment. So, you know, successful people, they start before they're ready. And for those of you who are watching this and are looking to do something different to change your situation, to change your aspect, to change your outlook on what your current situation is, whether it's physically, whether it's mentally, whether it's, whether it's spiritually, whether it's emotionally, whether it's financially, um, you need to take action. And you need to take action before you get ready because that's what successful people do. So I challenge you to connect with me. I challenge you to reach out to me. And, you know, I want to see where you are, you know, because I believe that I have something that is that is of value to you. Um, and apparently you do, too, because you're still watching this video. So um, let's not uh, let this time that has been spent go to waste connect with me um you can reach me on pretty much any major social media platform facebook um i'll put that information in the description box below you can reach me on twitter instagram linkedin uh pinterest and you know let's do something with it you know Let's not wait until January 1st, 2014 to begin. You know, let's let's start now. You know, let's, you know, get get your feet, get your foot in the door. And then you you will learn as you earn. And so I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, you know, leave a comment if you you know receive value from this. But by all means click the link below. And, you know, join the team. We're, we're ready to welcome you. Talk to you soon. See you on the other side. Peace.